Well, I mean, Nashville right now is in a really good place, you know, I mean, there's, uh, I don't know that there's ever been a time, since I've been here anyway, where there's been as much variety in music and uh, really talented people. A lot of people are moving here. I mean, it's getting, you know, I mean, one can say it's crowded, but it's, you know, I think, you know, the rising tide of creativity will raise all the ships, you know. I mean, well, there's going to be a place for everyone if they're willing to stick it out. I will say to be patient, you know, sometimes, you know, for people that move to town, there's an initial curiosity about them, and they may be active for the first month or two or three or whatever, and then typically it can cool off. I mean, it can be an ice age. And I don't know why that is, you know, except that, you know, or, you know, or the next glittering object comes floating by and they get, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, patience, you know, stick it out. Find, uh, find people with shared value systems, you know, find musicians that you like to work with uh, songwriters, especially for side men, bass players especially, songwriters start linking up with songwriters who are coming in on the same wave that you are, you know, because that's typically the way it happens, you know. It, you can, it's very rare that a new guy will come in and automatically, you know, grab a brass ring. You know, you sort of just rise together. So you find whoever's out there on the surfboard paddling around. You're like, oh, you like that? Yeah, I like that. You know, and then, and then you ride ashore together. You know, and that means going out, bad visibility, do gigs, uh, do showcases, do whatever you got to do. You're probably not going to make very much money at first. You know, keep your nut low, and uh, you know, and uh, don't get too attached to expectations. It's a recipe for disappointment. Well, you know what I uh, the the thing about just getting work in Nashville. Uh, as far as you know, finding a constituency that 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 you mesh with, it sort of applies to session work too. You know, I mean, it, it, one would hope that you know songwriters, and because that's where and this and the session thing today is very different than it used to be. You know, there's so much home recording and stuff like that. I this, I think the same thing applies. You know, it, you find people who you know who are songwriters or aspiring artists, and uh, it, and you know, uh, form a bond. And I mean, that's kind of the way, it's all word, it's always been word of mouth, you know, so you just, it, it, you just, one has to find one's way. There's no hard, fast rule about session work, except that you have to be in tune and be prepared and be on time and behave yourself and be a good hang. I mean, you know, there's, you know, as far as getting into mainstream session work, I mean, the hang is at 50% of it, you know, so. Uh, but uh, it's kind of getting choked from the top down. It's session work now, you know. It's just, and it's the same all over the world. It's just, it's, it's a money thing, you know. There's just not that much money. Fewer records are being cut. Uh, there's more of a, there's more bench drinks, so there's more people to choose from. So it's increasingly difficult. Not to paint a dismal picture, but you know, it's we're just one of those troughs right now. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but. Uh, Man, make friends with songwriters you like and music you like to play and then, you know, and do the next right thing and, you know, typically it'll all work out, you know, diligence. <laughs>